can't forget when you go down home when the sun goes low head off the highway to the painted western sky walk down the warm path through the back door cooking in the kitchen and the kettle is warm then you sit down Welcome to Great Chefs of the West, a video symposium of regional cookery offered by chefs from the West and Southwest. From Los Angeles, an appetizer by chefs Mary Sue Milligan and Susan Finnegar. From Houston, Texas, an entree by chef Robert Del Grande. From Tucson, Arizona, dessert by chef Donna Norton. And home-based cooking from the State Fair of Texas. It's been said, perhaps cynically, that the restaurant business is founded on the rock-solid principles of nepotism and sexual harassment. Susan Millican can't argue with at least half of that statement. After graduation from Chicago's Washburn Chef School, Mary Sue pestered her way into the kitchen at La Pera K in Chicago, and Susan was the only woman in her class at the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park. Those days are over. Their two Los Angeles restaurants are the toast of the town, and one of them, Border Grill, is a showplace for great Mexican food, like their version of the ubiquitous guacamole. So we're going to demonstrate guacamole, and it's a pretty classic dish there. One of the things that we learned when we were in Mexico was to uh, actually not add the tomatoes into the guacamole itself, which is a change that... Uh, I think we'd always done before, but it was a way that we realized it used to water down the actual dish itself. And, and if you cut it into quarters, you can peel it back like this and have a, a minimal waste. We find that's the fastest and easiest way to get the avocado peeled. This way, along with avocado, finely diced red onion. Cut you'll find that eventually you'll be much faster. Chop cilantro. Chop nuts. Finely diced jalapeno. And then we're going to mash these. Use my hand. <laughs> Do we have pictures? Yeah. Oh, oh. We're going to mash these avocados with the onions and chilies. We don't, we don't mash them too much. We like it to be a little bit chunky and... We're going to need a little bit of salt. Maybe a salt. Más tarde, yeah. And Mas tarde. the cilantro. And some fresh lime juice. And the way that you get, the mo best way to get juice out is to put a fork in and then turn the fork and squeeze at the same time. And once you're experienced, you can not worry about the seeds and you can pick them out later. Or you can do it in a separate bowl and then strain it. So it depends how much ju how much juice is in the limes to know how much you want to add into it. And as the actually as the chilies sit in the mixture, it becomes spicier as it sits. So you want to wait, let it sit to adjust. Mm hmm tiny bit of white pepper. Tastes good to me. So we use a little bit of shredded lettuce when we serve it and a slice of tomato. We And what we found is that by adding the tomato on the side you could still have the have the taste of tomatoes and also not water down your guacamole. 